Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you guys are here because today I'm sharing this really, really nice breakfast recipe with all of you guys. And if you guys are all into those really nice desi breakfasts or if you guys just want a nice desi breakfast brunch, then I got you guys covered because today I'm sharing my chole and luchi or paratas, whatever you'd like to call them. I call them luchi paratas. And I'm going to go ahead and share this recipe with all of you guys. So get comfortable, stay a while. If you haven't pressed that subscribe button don't forget to go ahead and do so and if you enjoy this video please give this a big thumbs up leave a comment and we'll go ahead and get right into this right now so I'm gonna start off by getting a large bowl putting some all-purpose flour into that some salt some oil and now I'm have some lukewarm water about two cups in a glass and I'm gonna add little by little and I'm gonna go ahead and knead this and make just like you normally would for any kind of arta or any kind of parata dough so I'm just gonna go ahead and knead this make sure you don't overdo it with the water just use a little as needed make sure you knead it all nice just like this and once it's done just go ahead and place that to a side I've went ahead and boiled my chickpeas I've soaked this in water overnight and then just give it gave it a slight boil for about an hour so that's perfectly ready now in my blender I've went ahead and added an onion a green chili pepper some ginger and some garlic I'm gonna blend that and I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my oil that's ready in my saucepan and I'm gonna go ahead and just cook this just fry it up and then I'm gonna add a bay leaf and I'm gonna add some cumin seeds and I'm gonna let that spur into this good stuff to give it that really nice aroma and now what i'm going to do is add some paprika powder you can use chili powder you can use cayenne pepper whatever you use but this is going to give it a real nice color and i like putting it in at this time because it gets really nice and spicy now as you guys can see i went ahead and pureed one uh, medium-sized tomato and i just went ahead and mixed this right into the stuff and now i'm using salt please use salt according to your diet and just give it a good mix i've also went ahead and put in just a little bit of turmeric to give it that really nice desi flavor and now I've added some coriander powder then I'm just gonna add some tomato sauce you can use tomato paste or puree um, the can kind that you buy from the shop or the store and just mix that in together I think that gives it a really nice color and a really nice taste so mix everything up together add your chickpeas or your chole and just give that a nice mix now for some reason the reason why I crush everything up into my um, my blender or my ninja bullet is because for breakfast I don't want all that onion and that tomato and everything to be showing up in my chole or you can call it but bature or you know chickpeas I don't like that showing up in there so that's why I go ahead and blend everything up together but just cover it cook it for about 10 minutes after it's done sprinkle with some garam masala and you're all set your breakfast is going to be done in a jiffy go ahead and take that bay leaf out of it now and you can sprinkle with fresh green coriander cilantro and um, that's about it guys after you mix everything up together, you can just go ahead and remove this from the flame and this is what it looks like when it's done. Now what we're gonna do is start off by making our luchi paratas. I'm using my tortilla maker here that my sister bought me and this is a real cool gadget. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. You can also for sure use this by hand. I mean, make this by hand. You do not have to use a tortilla maker, but I just, it's a real lifesaver with my kids early in the morning before I send them off to school or just on the weekends when you don't wanna stand around the stove all day, it works wonders. So just go ahead and get your flour, make little pierdes or make little balls out of them. And this is gonna yield about six or seven luchi paratas. Then what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna use the tortilla maker and show you guys how I press my tortillas or then definitely go ahead and roll them out with the rolling pin just sprinkle a little bit of flour on it and you'll be all set so I go ahead and apply a little bit of oil to my tortilla maker now I just go ahead and place that right there you press and you hold just for a couple of seconds and that's about it there you go you have perfectly beautifully done luchi paratas that are done and just ready to go ahead and be fried so I'll go ahead and make another one. And I really made big like birdies or big the, the, the balls out of the flour. Normally if you'd make smaller ones, they're not going to go ahead and go out of the tortilla maker place. I mean, they're going to be perfectly fine. 
Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and heat up my tava and after it's heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and just place my luchi paratas right on top, put a little bit of oil, and just use a spatula to turn its sides and let that fry up in that oil. What I also like to do is use some desi ghee and that gives the paratas a really, really nice taste. And I like to do this on mines because my kids for some reason think the butter has a smell so I go ahead and fry those in butter and and just takes not even a minute to fry on each side just you know maybe half of a minute on each side and it's all set guys could you guys see how good this looks your breakfast is made in just minutes it really helps if you like I said if you um, pre-soak your garbanzo beans or your chickpeas your chole the night before and then just let that boil the um, day that you're gonna go ahead and use it and guys don't forget that bubbly tea I'm sure you guys can see how bubbly and amazingly good that looks so don't forget to that chai that goes with your luchi paratas and your chole and i'll have the chai recipe or the bubbly tea recipe in the link down below for all you guys so don't forget to check that out make some of this good stuff and even my little baby even my little baby loved it the way that this tasted because the salt and pepper were just fine and he even thought it was so good so your whole family is going to get a kick out of this brunch once you make it on the weekends or any time of the day give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this share this video with your friends and family i want to thank all of you guys for all your guys's love and support all your guys's likes comments um i would like i'd like to say hi and hello a very warm welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you so much for everyone that has been sharing my videos please do give this a try and enjoy until next time khudafiz